Hello, in this video I'm going to compare two Casio dive style watches. The Casio MTD1053 and the Casio MDV107. I bought the Casio MTD1053 in October 2024 for $65.85. I bought the Casio MDV 107 in December of 2022 for $70.31. Today, the price of this one is about $85 on Amazon, so the price has gone up. Both watches were ordered on Amazon with free shipping. The watches were delivered in these small cardboard boxes. These are the Casio warranty cards. Casio watches have a two-year warranty that is valid two years from the date of purchase. The warranty on this one, the MDV107, is almost expired by now as I bought the watch in December of 2022. Today is November 23rd, 2024. The MDV107 has some wear and tear marks and scratches as I have had it for two years. The MTD1053, on the other hand, is in mint condition as I had it for a month. The MTD 1053 has a blue dial and white indices with numerals at 6, 9 and 12 o'clock. There's a framed date window at 3 o'clock. The MDV-107 has a black dial and white indices, but there are no numerals. There is also a framed date window at 3 o'clock on this one. That's enough for a rebel! First down! Both watches have screw-down crowns with crown guards on either side. Both watches have screw-back rear cases. So uh, these two Casio models have a lot in common. What are the differences? The MDV-107 is the bigger watch, as the diameter of the case is 42 mm without the crown. Compared to the MTD-1053, that is smaller, with a case width of 40 mm without the crown. If you have a pencil wrist like me, you pick the MTD 1053. So the spacing between the lugs on the 
MTD 1053 is 20 millimeters. And the spacing between the locks on the MDV 107 is 22 millimeters. As both Casios are divers watches, they have a fully functional unidirectional rotatable bezel. The rotatable bezel on the MDV 107 is a pleasure to operate. It's crisp, well defined and easy to grip. The rotatable bezel on the MTD 1053 is not very user friendly, it's difficult to get hold of and it's hard to move. Both watches have mineral glass. Mineral glass is not as scratch resistant as sapphire glass, but it's not something that you get at this price point. Both Casios are quartz watches that run on button cell batteries with a lifespan of approximately three years. The battery code is SR626SW on both watches. The loom is quite weak on both watches. The bracelet on the Casio MTD1053 is not very impressive. It's a linked steel bracelet with a fold-over clasp with a twin trigger release. And uh, the bracelet has quite a lot of dramatic side-to-side -side play. And the daylight is showing between the links. When wearing this watch on my wrist, my wrist hair gets stuck between the links. So the bracelet is pulling my wrist hair, which is annoying and somewhat painful. The MDV 107, on the other hand, has a resin bracelet of acceptable quality. It's comfortable and suitable for aquatic adventures. The Casio MTD 1053 weighs 142 grams with all links installed on the bracelet. The Casio MDV 107 weighs 92 grams as it has a resin bracelet. Both watches are 200 meters water resistant. That means that you can bathe with them. Now to my personal opinion on these two Casio watches. The MDV 107 has structural integrity. A nice case finish with elements of elegance to it. But the 42mm case is way too big for my 6 and 3 quarters inch pencil wrist. As you see, the lugs are at the end of my wrist on either side. The case finish of the MTD 1053 is less appealing and the flimsy bracelet pulls my arm hair. Oh yeah? But the 40mm case size suits my wrist much better. Conclusion. If the circumference of your wrist is 8 inches or more, keep going, keep going. you pick the bigger watch, the MDB 107. Yeah, okay. If not, 
you choose the MTD 1053 instead. Yeah, okay.